Welcome to another Michigan football show. I'm Bryn Mickle. And I'm Aaron McMahon. So it's been a couple weeks since our latest loss to Ohio State, and now we move on to our version of the national championship. Another meaningless trip to Florida for a meaningless bowl game. Tell me, why am I getting up with a hangover on January 1st to watch this thing? Well, first off, at least you don't have to work. Um, secondly, it, it is a football game. It's going to be their first game they've played in over a month, so it's, it, it is something to watch on television. Um, but I think there's more here. You know, there's development on, on, from Michigan. You've got some younger guys that Michigan started using, guys like Donovan Peoples-Jones, who they've gone to quite a bit here late in the year. Brandon Peters, who's expected to start a quarterback. There's really no pressure with this game. It's essentially an exhibition game. Nothing is riding on it. It's not a playoff. So it's a good opportunity for some of these guys to go out in style and at the same token for some of the younger guys to get ready for next season. Along those lines, uh, when you have some of these guys that could go early for the draft, are we expecting some mysterious hamstring injuries a la Jabril Peppers last year? Uh, where we find out just before kickoff that he's not playing. The only guy up in the air right now it seems to be Maurice Hurst. He's projected to go in the first round of the NFL draft, possibly top 20. A lot of money's riding on that. We saw what happened last year with Jake Butt and his injury in the Orange Bowl. It cost him, you know, a few a few slots in the NFL draft. Um, I think Hurst is looking at that, and rightfully so. You know, he the, like I mentioned earlier, this game there's nothing riding on it. It is his last game, so I think that weighs too. So the last time we saw South Carolina, Jadavian Clowney was decapitating Vincent Smith. Much different Gamecock team, but if you think the Michigan QB situation is bad, the South Carolina offense is a train wreck. They just fired their offensive coordinator. What are we looking for in this game? Yeah, on the outside looking in, both these teams are very similar. They both got identical 8-4 and four records. They're both young and inexperienced. We spoke to South Carolina head coach Will Muschamp earlier in the month. And he pointed out that 70% of his roster is made up of freshmen and sophomores. So it's, it's very similar with youth and experience on both sides. And then you got the offensive struggles on both sides. South Carolina ranks 12th out of 14 SEC teams in total offense. Um, their quarterback, Jake Bentley, he's a sophomore. He's thrown for 2,500 yards, uh, but he's also thrown a lot of interceptions too. And I think that's where Michigan's defense uh, comes into play here. Their secondary has been um, exceptional all season long. They have the opportunity to create some turnovers here, and I think they will. And I think that, in essence, is where this game is going to turn. So the elephant in the room, Shea Patterson. We don't know yet if he can play next year, but we do know that he's coming to Michigan. Is Brandon Peters playing for his job? I, I think in, in some ways he is, but at the same token, you've got to remember Jim Harbaugh embraces the whole competition thing. Shea Patterson is obviously coming in to try and take his job. But Brandon Peters, I think from his standpoint, having not played the Ohio State game, has something to prove. He wants to come out here and show that he can be the guy. I would suspect you'll see a, an improved and a energized Brandon Peters on January 1st against South Carolina. So, what's your prediction? Um, I, I think it'll be a relatively low scoring game. I think both teams are going to struggle to move the football, but I think Michigan's defense is just too superior. I think with Brandon Peters back and able to, to service and manage this offense, I think Michigan scores enough points. I'm going Michigan 17, South Carolina 10. Yeah, see, I think this is one of these games that is just going to vex Michigan fans because I think Michigan gets in there, I think they're going to roll against a a discombobulated South Carolina team. I think they're going to get our excitement up for next year, and then who knows. But uh, I just see this one is Michigan rolling. I I'm going to say 49 to 10. Well, that's a wrap on another Michigan football show. We'll be back in early February to talk signing day, and hopefully you'll have brought me back my blooming onion from Tampa.